Hey everybody, it's Brian from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to let you know I am testing out SQL Server 2014 CPT2 uh, with uh, the OLTP uh, in-memory functionality, which is a major feature of, of uh, SQL Server 2014. I'm not saying this is a game changer yet, I'm just testing the performance. This is what I found thus far. Um, and let me just show you what I'm doing. Okay, first I'm using the uh, the new SQL Server fully loaded. You can f download it right now. Well, all the usual stuff. Now remember, this is a beta release. It's not an official release. So that's CP2, CP, CTP2. Uh, and uh, if you come under here, under the SQL Server uh, Management Studio, I'll just show you what I mean here. Uh, the about uh, so we're looking at the community technology preview too so it's not a official release just so everybody understands that so um, what I've done here is uh, I've, I found this link I, I, there's a bunch of stuff but I, I went through ran all these uh, TSQL statements in my SSMS SQL Server management studio software, this guy right here, uh, everything seemed to run fine. But the highlights here uh, are these two lines, okay? What we're doing is, uh, let me just show you, we have uh, a in-memory database uh, called, uh, let me just uh, refresh this. So we have an in-memory database right here uh, called IMOLTP. Uh, has a few tables that are created as part of the uh, statements that you run in here. Everything runs fine, but as I said, uh, th this is the highlight. So we're looking at the uh, shopping cart uh, shopping cart table. And what I'm doing in here, in part of the lines here, uh, as you get to it, how it basically works is you set up your usual table uh, but there is a in-memory or some kind of clause that you uh, attach when you um, run the in-memory functionality somewhere in there. Uh, and then the other thing is you do need to create store procedures uh, to expedite the um, querying and insertion of the uh, data. So that's what we do here. So we have this one called uh, user store procedure insert sample carts so we create that and here's where it gets very interesting uh, we declare the usual uh, you know uh, I guess a query uh, and then we set up the data uh, the start ID here and then what we're doing here this is the key is we're actually uh, going to now insert just uh, random uh, data uh, and uh, it's going to be 1 million insertions, okay, so that's the size, 1 million rows. So, uh, and then you run this select to do a count on that same table, okay. So I've run that, that runs fine, so let me just show you how fast it is. Um, the insertion itself takes about, mm, on my system, it's about, uh, Took about eight seconds to do one million, which is pretty quick, I would imagine. But uh, my system's kind of very limited, so I'm gonna just tell you that in a second here. But if I run this query on the count, it's very fast. So we have one million and four uh, rows, and it took literally uh, not even a second to do. Okay, so the in-memory functionality seems to run fairly quickly as promised uh, within the uh, SQL Server Management Studio, no problem, okay? But my system is very basically tiny for this sort of thing to go beyond, let's say, a million rows or records. My system is like a commodity hardware, uh, an i7 with uh, uh, eight gigs of RAM. I don't know the exact processor, but it's about two years old. Uh, so it's probably standard like any home commodity based type of desktop, nothing fancy. But what I try to do is I try to really push the limits of how many rows I could put into uh, this table, the uh, shopping cart. So I try 2 million, no problem. 
I added another 20 million, which pushed it up to 22 million, let's say. And then I really started noticing the system just started to lag. I started getting out of memory uh, messages and the system from that point on went bonkers and just started chewing up the processor and uh, all hell broke loose. I think with the SQL Server, they tried to have it somewhat contained within SQL Server so it doesn't uh, affect the rest of the uh, system. It's just for you running, I don't know, my case, Visual Studio Word, all that. I didn't really see any um, degradation on those applications. I only saw the degradation within the SQL Server uh, Management Studio itself. Um, so in essence, I think the upper limit you could really push is maybe tops two million. Um, but I wouldn't really go beyond a million with uh, everything set up the way it is. Just due to the fact of uh, um, the way things are uh, on this hardware. But uh, if I'm able to get this type of performance, uh, just doing a select on how many uh, rows there are in this table of a million, and it took only not even a second, uh, right there, that kind of leads me to believe it's promising, but I still need to do my homework and run this type of uh, calls or queries from within my C-sharp application and test, really test it out, which I will do. I'll report back that performance. So. Hang tight, it does deliver the promise, but uh, don't get too excited because there's still a lot more to go, okay? So hang out there, hang, hang in there, okay? Talk to you later.